Ow, 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 Let's wake up everyone. Starting by you. Okay, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video guys, we're gonna be talking about a subject that I've been trying to avoid for the longest time. As you guys must know, I grew my YouTube channel based on the Boodma platform. I actually, if you, a lot of you guys might be here for my Boodma videos because I know that's a lot of my subscribers come from. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, go subscribe to the channel because it helps me by a lot. In the past recent months, I've been plateaued with my BMW because it's basically almost done. I only have to change two more things, which is the turbo inlet and then the diverter valve on the turbo. And that's pretty much it. Unless you guys take out the 85 and stuff like that i'm talking about just that the reason why i came to this conclusion that i'm going to be telling you in a second is because like i said my bmw has been stuck in the same numbers there's not really crazy numbers or anything i want my bmw to get bigger from now on because basically like i said this car is always covered so it's basically uh not my daily so it's like some car that i just tried to make videos and have a fun time with so i wanted to give a different things change so i can attract a different kind of people too to the channel and a lot of people can join in for the ride but in this video guys i'm going to be talking about why i'm finally switching to mhd from boot mod don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with boot mod i just think boot mod after like working with it for almost two years i think boot mod is a tune that is mostly for the looks and the pops it does give you power do not get me wrong but it's not a really significant crazy amount of power and i was like looking into stuff i was reading and now a lot of people that have bmws were telling me that mhd numbers were a little bit higher than the boot mod and more consistent so i'm gonna be going the deep for a little bit i'm just gonna start driving right now go to location i'm gonna be filming and after that guys i'm just gonna be going in deep why i'm switching from boot mod all the way to mhd what are the main reasons why and the things that you guys need to watch out for i'll see you guys in a little bit yo yo what is up guys so like i was telling you let me fix the cameraman because this cameraman sh like i said drill's not here because he's working so let's make the best out of it we got drills track hawk right here beast right here with a rb26 engine in a case swap anyways guys so like i was saying in the other video and like i was saying in my intro i was actually debating a lot into switching from the boot mod to the mhd why let me tell you a lot okay first of all i started making my boot mod videos i want to say on october of 2019 that was my first boot mod video i think i did or november but the video that actually took off for me and the reason why a lot of you guys are here is because was my boot mod video from last year 2020 when i did my perfect purple setup which i'm gonna leave in a picture right here the problem with that tune was everyone was commenting that it's mostly for pops and i see what you guys mean i'm gonna leave a clip on my pops i actually do like them a lot i have no concerns about that i took a lot of time every bmw owner goes through a stage that they like the burbles i already went through that i don't like them i like the pop like i said guys i want to give my car something else something new to try something more powerful something's going to be more reliable don't get me wrong the boom is perfectly fine i just if you guys know let me tell you some reasons if you guys take a look when i do my videos of the pulls that i do sometimes you jerk a lot sometimes it struggles and it feels like it's losing power it is not the car's problem it's also the tune because like i said these tunes are tunes for a budget they're not really that much of a power tune unless you guys buy a custom tune from boot mod with an actual like f80 pole or like someone like that that's going to give you a powerful tune that's going to blow up your car soon because 335 is not made for that boost unless you change the turbos if we can find something on a budget that is around the same price range that is going to give you the same amount of gains why not do that in the first place first of all guys the mhd i'm going to be leaving screenshots of what i'm saying right now so if you guys can see i'm going through my phone you guys see i'm recording but let's go to the mhd website right now so one of the things that i was always saying about mhd and a lot of people are saying that was before mhd was only for android devices and like let's be honest 99 percent of people out there they do have an iphone they don't have an android so that makes it really difficult for them in the recent years they change it back to now you can do it on your actual i want to say ios device yeah yeah i'm checking right now and it works perfectly fine from the screens right here i can tell you i'm gonna leave in screenshots we have the n54 n55 f series f55 and the b series too which is really cool but guys like i was telling you if this is on the same price range i don't see why we cannot give it a try so let's get started like i was saying guys if we come here and we check the licenses okay so the first thing is this is in euros the super license for the m55 which i think is the one that unlocks the all the off the shelves maps so i don't know how it works i'm guessing that's the way it works okay don't quote me but i'm guessing the super license for the m55s means they give you all the tunes out there this is the thing though if you guys scroll to the bottom it says the flash will be five minutes in 30 second maps which was just pretty good 
Moon Mod first one, that's where they require a battery charger because the first one actually takes you, I want to say around 10 minutes because it has to unlock the DME. And then it says this one takes five minutes and then only 30 seconds. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's not really that much of a difference. I know it's like five to 10 minutes of a difference, but at the same time, I want to say Moon Mod is way more expensive than this because Moon Mod is $5.95. And if you want all the maps, it's an additional 50 bucks. So it ends up being with everything around 650 bucks. It's not really that bad. But from this one, I want to say 450 euros. So I want to say like $475 is still cheaper and it gives you more power. But the main thing that I want to talk about, and I'm going to be leaving screenshots right now, is this. All the stuff you can do, but if you guys see right here, available flash options, we can see we have exhaust burble. So that also means we can customize the burble setup that we want to have to this car too. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So the, the main reason why I always like to have my uh, boot mode was because I can customize my burbles and the fact that I can do it with the MHC is actually pretty cool. Startup roar, I don't use it. It's also in the boot mode. Cold start reduction, I do have it. Not anymore. I took it off. You can take off the limiter, which is pretty cool. A limit power per gear, so CAD delete. So basically, guys, in a nutshell, all the stuff, features that it casts, we can do the same thing with the boot mode and the MHC. So we're in a good start right there. But this is the main thing that I was looking at and the main thing that makes a huge difference with the MHC and the boot mod. Okay, so that's where we come. I'm going to take a screenshot right now and let you guys know what it is. The one thing I do like about this, and it gives you the numbers of how much torque and horsepower you're going to be getting. I mean, it says up to because like I said, when BMWs, any car in general, whenever you guys have an old car or a car that's depreciating in years, the engine's going to start losing power little by little, but it's not big, that significant. But I do like the fact that it tells you how much horsepower. So stage one, it gives you up to 360 horsepower. That's pretty sick. And stage two, which is what I have right now, I want to say in a good day it's giving me like 360 to 380 to the wheel the fact that stage two here gives you up to 390 horsepower and 580 torque that's a huge difference and we'd only need an intercooler and a high flow down pipe so pretty sick now this is where the things get sick stage two the stage two plus okay so this is plus it's not a stage two aggressive like Budamont. this is stage two plus it's telling me that it's giving me 430 horsepower to the wheel and 630 torque and this can be using 91 octane 93 octane 95 i don't think we have 95 in the us we're in tj either way so it doesn't really matter but for this we only need a high flow down pipe which is a catalyst and an intercooler so if you guys see from these numbers right here 430 horsepower that's pretty insane because not even the boot was giving me that much so that's what the main thing people are saying this tune gives you way more horsepower than the actual tunes from boot which is i want to say for a tune that's a little bit cheaper people have better concerns about this tune so it's going to be a way different right one more thing that people were saying about this tune was it's really more steady graphs i'm not going to be stealing video ideas from anyone so i'm going to be saying right here one of my favorite youtubers is thick whips and he actually made a video on his supra switching from Budman maps to the mhd i think he was running e30 and the meth at the same time but he was showing a video i'm gonna leave a picture and i hope it doesn't get copyrighted but he was actually uh showing a graph when they were dynoing the Budman supra and the graph was all over the place it was not a steady graph and when they actually switch it to the mhd on the 85 and meth it was actually a steady line and it also gave him a better horse power and torque it was pretty cool that was a pretty informative video i hope you guys see that video and take some notes from it you also have the regular maps too you guys have a ethanol mix which i one gives you 440 horsepower and then pure turbos and then full e85 stage so that's pretty good so that's gonna be the ones for the electronic wastegate night n55 so it's just the one that i'm running right now other things you need a computer or an actually oh yeah you can use it oh actually this is different it says that you need mhd wi-fi adapter you need an ENA cable lighting adapter for us in ios only okay so i don't think you do this from your computer guys i think you guys do it from a tablet or you guys do it from your phone which is not really that big of a deal that just means i might need some different equipment to do this tune and it supports a lot of cars they support my car so it's not a problem there and with that being said that's pretty much it for this like review of the mhd but yeah guys with that being said i will tell you that was one of the main reasons why i wanted to switch like i said my car has been on a plateau for the last year now no i'm sorry not the last year for the last six months um no mods nothing because it's pretty much done but i want to tell you i was trying to get a different tunes and i also was trying to get a custom tune but that's also going to be like 500 bucks so for 500 bucks i might as well try something else i do want to be open to like try new experiences and like a lot of people always say mhd was better this is not a piggyback this is not a jv4 this is mhd which is a tune uh dme unlock and everything if you guys are really interested into buying my actual license for boot mod i'm gonna leave leaving it guys for like the same price i'm just gonna do 600 bucks because i do have all the maps unlocked and with all the maps unlocked it's 650 but i'm just gonna leave it at 600 is fine so the price that i pay for it if you guys are interested in buying the license for my car which is the 335 and 55 engine i think you can switch it i'm 
I'm not pretty sure, but if you guys can, it looks gonna be pretty sick. So if you guys are interested, let me know down below. And also guys, with that being said, I'm gonna be making more videos from the actual process of selling the license, how to sell it, and then I might be making a video when I actually decide to go on the actual MHD tune. So that's gonna be pretty sick. It's gonna be coming the weeks to come. I actually wanna die another car. Pretty sick. I do wanna do it before I actually turn it in my license from Budmont. But with that being said, guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. And if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, go do it right now down below, guys. If not, Drew's gonna come and beat the hell out of you. I'm just joking, no cat. YouTube do not demonetize my video. It's just a joke. But yeah, guys, if you guys haven't liked the video, also go like it and comment what you guys wanna see next. Comment if you guys, what mods you want me to do, if you like Budmont or MHD more, tell me why. Yeah, that's gonna be it to come, guys. See you next week. Enjoy. Oh,